right let's see now how we can uh, duplicate the generator in power factory so how we can duplicate the synchronous machine element and the associated uh, uh, dynamic model of the power plant so in this respect power factory is following the same approach that is used to distinguish type and element when we want to model uh, one or more components into power factory and we have these four uh, uh, units that we call uh, model definition and common model composite frame and composite model so in a fairly straightforward way uh, we have the model definition that is uh, setting uh, pretty much the dynamic models so it's specifying the block diagram that is necessary to define a certain dynamic uh, component which could be the governor could be the avr for example and then uh, we have uh, the common model which is uh, actually giving uh, uh, gain and values to a specific uh, governor so it's basically specifying uh, the it's basically giving the name to the governor so if we have uh, two identical governor sitting in two different uh, power plant then we have two common models that are referring to the same model definition and in the with the same fashion uh, there is the composite frame which is a setting uh, the relationship so again it's a block diagram uh, setting the relationship between the different uh, uh, model definition and then we have the composite model that is pointing to a specific composite frame that is pretty much gathering together all the dynamic models we can also see the the same uh, structure in this uh, in this slide where we have uh, the for each common model there is a model definition that is using possibly some uh, macro predefined macro in power factory otherwise they can also be manually defined uh, and then we have the one or more composite model depending on how many elements we want to control in our system or to model in our system and each of these composite uh, uh, refer to a frame so to a composite frame so let's get now into power factory what we want to do we want to do a fairly uh, straightforward operation so we want to duplicate the machine in order to have two identical fully equipped uh, generators so both synchronous machine and the associated uh, governor behind it so let's go in power factory just uh, open the reader grid as usual and let's perform a load flow just to see that everything is uh, working fine so the first operation that we can do is just to make a copy paste of the element and you see that we will have uh, a new element that has uh, uh, the same characteristic of the previous one you will see that power factory of course cannot uh, have two uh, elements with the same name so it will uh, rename the new one with a one in the, between brackets so we can actually just give a new name just to give it the dignity of a new uh, unit and uh, let's say the first kind of operation that we can do at this point is actually to run a load flow just to see that everything is working fine and something is actually not working fine so something needs to be uh, fixed um, in this sense uh, power factory sometimes is not very narrative when it comes to um, explaining the potential issue and then we need to uh, use our uh, good sense our uh, good technical education to understand actually what could possibly be wrong so in this case you see that power factory is a problem in uh, making the load flow to converge so if we look a little bit uh, at the uh, system much closer we actually can notice that uh, the first uh, generator had a station control on and the station control was actually pointing or controlling the voltage at the load pass the new generator that we just copied actually does not have any station control and is set as a constant or to control the voltage uh, locally 
So Power Factory now has a, has a problem, the load flow solver has a problem because there are two different elements, one at this point controlling the voltage on the load and another one controlling the voltage on the other node. So it is constrained in the sense that it does not have enough freedom to, to solve the load flow. So this is of course uh, not acceptable and Power Factory cannot perform a load flow calculation. So what do we need to do is that we need to uh, give back this uh, freedom, this possibility to adjust the uh, reactive power of one of the machine. So pretty much we can uh, decide, for instance, that this machine uh, will not actually have any kind of voltage control. At this point we perform the load flow and we verify that actually this machine is uh, performing the dispatch so it's providing the dispatch power. We can also notice actually that uh, uh, just the other machine will be taken as a slack machine, so to speak. So whenever we are setting a new dispatch to, this, uh, to the new machine, the old one will be uh, controlled in such a way that uh, active and reactive power are actually uh, set in order to make uh, the, the system to, uh, to have a feasible operating point. Uh, you can see that actually in the old machine it was flagged this reference machine, which is also flagged in the new machine, but then Power Factory is of course choosing to ignore one of the two flags. So pretty much this flag is not uh, taken in consideration. Right, but at this point in time, uh, even though we duplicated uh, the new generator, actually the new generator is uh, just a synchronous machine uh, connected to the system. So it's not really, uh, it does not really have any power plant uh, behind that, even though the machine is producing 25 uh, megawatt and it will keep on producing this amount of power uh, regardless of what's happening into the system because there is no uh, device actually capable of controlling this machine. So what we need to do now is that we need to uh, equip also the new machine with a new composite uh, model. You see that uh, the composite is uh, located in the grid subfolder and inside the composite we have these two uh, common models, so the one of the AVR and the one of the Gover. And just to get a good picture of all, all the situation, these two, so the composite and the common uh, model that we have inside, they have uh, a frame, or two frames actually, the block definition and the composite frame that actually specify how this frame should look like. So if we actually go in the local uh, library, we can see that we have uh, um, the model definition for the governor, the model definition for the AVR and the composite frame definition as well. You can also see that by opening the element of the AVR and then see that it's pointing to a model uh, definition. It's always important to make sure that when there are these uh, reference to dynamic model as reference to types in general, it's always important to have them pointing at uh, types that are located in the local library and not in the main library because if you copy paste the, the project and bring it to another computer that may not have the same type of uh, general library then you will have an issue because Power Factory will not be able to find uh, the type that uh, your uh, AVR or governor are pointing to. The other um, useful information that we can get from here is that if we right click on the composite then we see actually this nice table that is uh, reporting uh, the um, which elements and which common model are actually used in this uh, for this composite generator for this composite model for the synchronous machine so we see now that we have uh, this conventional unit the old one, so to speak, so the first one. And then we have the AVR1 and the GOF, TGOF2 here, which are also uh, located down here. 
okay so that's always quite convenient to keep AVR and governor belonging to a composite model under the folder you could place it elsewhere but then it would be a bit uh, confusing so I would recommend not to do that uh, just to get also a little bit uh, an insight on the block diagram for uh, governor and AVR and so on then we can always uh, show the graphic so that we can see uh, what is actually included in the uh, in our governor and you see that we have uh, this uh, block diagram with some gains some uh, first order filters other type of transfer function uh, possibly uh, different type of non-linearities if there are necessary to model the dynamics and so on and for each we have a certain number of input and a certain number of output and you see that all these uh, blocks here they have some constants the value of which is defined inside the governor okay so all the values that you that you see here inside the governor they assign a certain number to the to the value that are necessary for the dynamic model. Of course, as always, uh, if we have a new governor, as we will soon have, then the values can be changed, but that is not gonna change the model definition because the model definition does not have specified uh, this number. It has just the specification of a parameter. And then the value of the parameter is decided inside the common model. The same it's for the AVR and just to get uh, a look at um, composite uh, frame then uh, we have our uh, our block diagram here so in this case it seems uh, rather complex but it's actually quite uh, straightforward so there are uh, four uh, so-called slots so they are uh, blocks pretty much each with a certain number of uh, input and output input uh, they specify which kind of uh, uh, variable should be fed in to the slot and the output is specifying which kind of measurement are taken uh, which most of the time are necessary by other uh, uh, blocks behind you see that our um, our composite here has actually four slots so the first one is uh, the slot that will uh, host the synchronous machine then we have the slot for the AVR, the slot for the governor, and we do have also a slot for a power system stabilizer, which in our case is not uh, uh, modeled. So it's just left empty. So pretty much that's the composite. And then the operation that we can do to um, duplicate the composite, it's again, extremely straightforward. It's just a normal uh, copy paste. So also in this case, we will get uh, a new uh, composite with a one in bracket. So we need just to uh, give it a new name, just to avoid any further confusion. And then we need to be uh, careful because we would say, OK, now the, the job is done and I can uh, perform my simulation. And of course, uh, we will get uh, a nasty error. The so why is Power Factory complaining? So it's complaining about uh, um, it's complaining about that it's not able to initialize the model and that we should check the uh, values here. So actually, what is the the problem? Is it, there is nothing wrong with the model in itself. It's uh, simply that by doing this copy paste operation, we ended up with two different composite with two different set of AVR and governor, but both of them pointing to the same generator. And of course, this is uh, problematic because then we have the same machine that is subject to two inputs. So that's something that cannot be uh, realized. So we just need to make sure that we are not pointing to the old machine, but that we are pointing to a new machine or to the new machine that we just uh, pasted. Another, um, let's say drawback of this kind of operation is that uh, it's quite quick and straightforward, but you see that we just add uh, a new pair of AVR and governor called exactly in the same way as, uh, as before, but sitting in a different subfolder. So uh, 
again, we have to be careful because uh, you see now that uh, you can also see here if you open uh, the, uh, the quick button to access the different uh, uh, objects that we do have two governors, okay? And uh, sitting in two different folders, both of them using the same block definition but that are of course uh, used to control two different uh, uh, machines so we have to be careful that if we don't rename them as well then it could be confusing to know which one is uh, used for what so also in this case we could just have a new uh, set of names as well right so now things are uh, hopefully clear because you see that everything here is uh, red, red, red. So they are all uh, belonging to the same uh, uh, power plant. So we don't have the situation of uh, one composite controlling another generator or two generators, we would not be uh, acceptable. And then we can uh, uh, successfully perform our uh, load flow. And we have our system here. So now we ended up with two uh, new uh, identical power plant. And uh, I think that's pretty much about it.